Greetings everybody, I'm Nick DiVirgilio and today's video is on seven stellar snare drum microphones. Let's go. Now, before I get started with this video, I must tell you that this is by no means all of the snare drum microphones I could have used. We sell so many snare drum microphones here at Sweetwater. But for this video, I picked seven mics that I've used many times before in recording sessions and live. I know all of these mics can definitely do the job. Now you can see these mics in action, hear what they can do and compare for yourself. It's also worth mentioning that there's a great written article by our own Lynn Fuston called The Best Mics for Recording Snare Drum. Make sure you check out the text below this video for a link to that article. It's very well written and there's a lot of sound examples there to check out. Let me quickly take you through the microphones I have set up here today and then we'll get into some playing and sound examples. I have four cardioid dynamic microphones, the Audix i5, the Sennheiser E604, the Bayer Dynamic TG, i51 and the classic, the all-time classic, the Shure SM57. There's one super cardioid dynamic mic and that's the Telefunken M80, which is right here. One small diaphragm condenser mic, the Earthworks DM20, which is this guy right over here. And one compact twin diaphragm cardioid condenser mic, that's a mouthful, the DPA 2011C, which is right here in the center. The price range varies between all of these microphones, of course. So it all depends on what your budget will allow and what style and vibe and flavor of sound you're looking for because it's all about the sound, right? All of these microphones are good and can be used in both live and studio situations. So you get bang for your buck no matter which microphone you get. I will talk about each of these microphones here in just a few minutes, but let me first get into some playing here so you can compare the sound of each microphone. I'm gonna play a simple groove and a simple fill and the text on the screen will change with each microphone so you know exactly what you're listening to. Well, did you hear the difference? Let me tell you how I'm recording all these microphones so you know everything is going through a Universal Audio Apollo with a Neve Mic Pre on every channel. I'm not using any EQ or compression, it's just the sound of the drum going through the microphone. EQ and compression can make a huge difference to any microphone you use, but for this demonstration, my aim is just to give you a nice, clean sound and comparison of each of the mics as is. I am also recording the kick drum and I have a Neumann FET 47 out in front of the kit so you can kind of get an overall sound as well. Now the first playing example, I had the kick and the FET 47 in the mix. I'm gonna do the same playing example except this time you're only gonna hear the snare drums. This time around, don't only listen to the sound of the snare drum but also check out the sound of the kick drum and the hi-hat bleeding into the snare drum microphones. I purposely set my hi-hat up high and sort of off to the left. It's definitely not the place I normally set my hi-hat but I wanted to get as little bleed into the snare drum mics as possible. But there's always gonna be some bleed. The key part is what does the bleed sound like? Off-axis response is very important part of any microphone so check it out. All right, now let me take a few moments here to talk about each of these microphones. The Shure SM57, one of the most classic microphones of all time. It just works. And not only for snare drum, for, but for just about 
any other instrument you can think of in the recording studio. It's got a nice cardioid pattern. It helps reject noise from the side of the microphone. And it's got a nice natural low mid sort of thwack to the sound. Next is the Audix i5, another great microphone, not only for drums, but for many other things. It's got a flat cap design, which makes it easy to put on snare drums, guitar cabinets, and it's comfortable to sing into as well. It sounds great on the top end and can handle a ton of SPL, which is of course great for instruments like snare drums. The next microphone is the Sennheiser E604, another classic microphone that I've used many, many times while touring with my bands overseas in Europe. Sennheiser is a very popular brand over there, and these microphones would be on drum kits in just about, just about every club I walked into. Its compact size and clip makes it easy to put on any drum, and it handles extreme levels of SPL as well, and has a really nice and clear sound. Also, it's worth mentioning that the housing is really robust on this microphone, just in case, just in case you make the mistake of hitting the microphone, which you're not supposed to do. But if you do, you're not gonna damage the microphone or break it. Maybe that's why it was in so many clubs over there in Europe while I was touring. Next in line here is the Biodynamic TG i51, and that's this baby right here. It's a very cool microphone I just got turned on to last year, and now I've used it in a lot of Sweetwater videos. The microphone works well every time. It has a nice, balanced, and punchy sound. And like all the other microphones here, it works well on a lot of other instruments. And it's also really good at attenuating the ambient noise around the microphone, AKA the bleed. Now I'm gonna switch it up a little bit here and go from a cardioid microphone to a super cardioid, the Telefunken M80 Super Cardioid Dynamic Microphone. Again, another microphone I've used countless times, not only here at Sweetwater in our studios, but on tons of live gigs. This microphone has an ultra thin membrane that really captures every little detail, whether drumming or singing. To top it all off, this microphone comes in 16 different colors, just in case you wanted to change up the aesthetic a little bit. The next microphone to talk about is the very popular Earthworks DM20, and that's this bad boy right here on my right. You'll see this microphone on a lot of drum kits these days, and it's well deserving to be there. Earthworks is well known for having ultra clean sounding microphones. This mic can handle up to 150 SPL. That's super loud. It's got a wide frequency range, super fast impulse response, and has great rejection from behind the microphone. With its clip, it's easy to connect to the rim of any drum, and this rigid gooseneck keeps the microphone in place, which is very cool. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, is the DPA 2011C Compact Twin Diaphragm Cardioid Microphone. This is another microphone I've used countless times in our recording studios because of its ultra clean sound. While I've used this microphone a ton in our studios, it's also great for the live stage because of its impressive clarity and gain to feedback performance. The DPA 2011 also sounds great on so many other instruments and makes the snare drum pop. Now I'm gonna play the drums to some music. I think it's a good thing to hear the snare in context with some music in the background because you don't always play the drums by themselves. It's just a simple sequence and every four bars, the snare mic in the mix is gonna change. The text on the screen will show you exactly which mic that is. And there you go, seven stellar snare drum microphones. Whether you go for the ultra classic SM57 or all the way up to the pristine DPA 2011, each of these microphones will get you a great snare drum sound. Now it's just up to you to decide on which one you like best. Who knows, maybe you'll just buy all of the microphones. That'd be cool. If you want any more information on any of these seven microphones or all of the other amazing microphones we sell here at Sweetwater, just make sure you contact your Sweetwater sales engineer and thanks so much for watching.
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one, or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.